you're barely in the picture. What's going on here, honey? Uh, I'm like actually. No, it was like barely any of you in the picture. All right, now that's right. We did, I didn't have the thing set up right. Okay, guys. We're going to review something right now that we should have reviewed a month ago. When it came, first came out. But we didn't. And you know why we didn't? Because we really didn't want to. No. But the, more, but the more we thought about it, the more we thought we should. Yeah, it is the Berber King Impossible Whopper. The Impossible Whopper. Okay, so look, I've looked this thing up again. Going back to the healthy kick, this is really not healthy. It is a little bit better for you than the regular Whopper. I got it just as it comes, which I don't think I, I don't think it has cheese on it. No. So I got it just like it comes. So look, it's a Whopper just, that smells weird. It's a Whopper just like it comes off the menu. It's got uh, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, onions, and a fake meat burger. I don't get why they don't have cheese. I don't either, but it I doesn't. Really some people don't eat cheese. I don't understand it, but some people don't eat cheese. So look, we're gonna split this thing. The only thing that scares me about this, Huddy, is when I ordered it, they said, do you want it microwaved or grilled? What? That's what they asked. I chose, what do you think I chose? Grilled. Yeah. Who okay. wants a microwave? What? Well, it's not real meat. Oh. So we're gonna cut this puppy in half. I love taking bites from the side. Like, like oh, whoa, 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 it's, not, it's stuck together. Oh, he almost, we almost had a disaster here. All right, so that's what that thing good. looks like. It does not. It good. smells awful. I hope it tastes better than it smells. Look, it looks it like meat. Like, it smells like what's that place that has peanuts in the floor and tastes or it smells weird. I don't know. I, you talking about Logan's? Yeah, Logan's, Logan's doesn't smell. Weird. It sometimes it to me it does. All right, let's try this. So here's the Impossible Whopper. Look, real quick, for all you people that don't eat meat, I hope this is good. Mm. We eat meat, so we don't care. But. Cheers. Cheers. You can tell the difference, but it's not a huge difference. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't really like that. Maybe it's in my head. I can't taste the difference. Really? You think that tastes like their regular beef? I don't. It's kind of got a strange consistency. Oh, yeah. I haven't tasted it now. I was barely getting much beef because I had the lettuce and tomato. <laughs> I will say that I don't hate it. Is it the same price as the regular Whopper? I guess it's five dollars and thirty nine cents. I have to look at the health, the calories, the fat, all that. I mean, it's not bad, is it? Hey, you know what it reminds me of, and I don't know, you don't eat school lunches, but it reminds me of a school lunch burger when I was a kid. So I'm not sure what's in that. I've had a bite of our chicken sandwich at school, and it's really good. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with beef. I'm just saying. <laughs> our school lunches are pretty solid. This is not as bad as I thought it would be, oh to gosh, be honest with you. stuff is falling apart. Look, for those of you that don't or can't eat red meat, I'm happy this is out there. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Would I get it regularly? Absolutely not. But I'm surprised that it tastes closer to the original than I would have ever expected. It doesn't have the same smoky flavor they have on most of their burgers. Would you agree with that? It kind of tastes like like a leftover, if that makes sense. Like the consistency. It's not like fresh. <laughs> Hey, good effort. Yeah. I wonder how it's selling. Do you have any idea? I bet you it's selling good. Because... How about if it's selling well? What? Nothing. Oh, if it's selling well? 
I think it. Just, does, I think it does good because people want to try something like this. Like, here's my guess. Here's my guess. In the South, it's not selling well. That's my guess. In Athens, Alabama, this is probably the only one they've done this week. I don't know. I may be wrong on that. But again, I'm glad it exists. Look, the Whopper is very good. Have we ever reviewed just a Whopper? I don't think the, we have. The Whopper is like, when I think of burgers, fast food, I think of Whopper Big Mac. Mm-hmm. Me as well. Look, it's good. It's got a salad on it. It's got a lot of, it's, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like a salad. <laughs> Tomatoes, lettuce, and then the plant-based burger. It's not bad. They got mayonnaise on it. Their mayonnaise tastes good. All right, so let's grate it. I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, to be honest with you. Huddy, what would you give BK's Burger King's Impossible Whopper, which cost five dollars and thirty nine cents? And I didn't get it with cheese. I think it would have been way better with cheese. It would have. I, I was gonna get it with cheese, and I thought it no. Have, it would have the consistency. I thought no. I'm gonna get it just like it comes, just as it is. So, what would you give the Impossible Whopper on a zero to five scale? Consider if someone just told me it was a Whopper and I ate it, it would be like a three. But since it's plant based and it's weird, I'll give it a three point five. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with what you said. That's pretty smart for a twelve year old. If if I walked in and somebody said, "Hey, I got a bunch of whoppers. You want one?" and I said, "Yeah," and I got that, I would be like, "Something ain't right." Awesome. And so it, I, I, I'm gonna go a little lower than you. If if comparing it to a regular whopper, I give it a two and a half. But I don't know the health. I'm gonna look up the health stuff. And knowing that this is out there for people to be able to eat that don't eat meat, I'm giving it a four for that very reason. Now, again, if, it, if you compare it to a regular Whopper, it's about half as good as a regular Whopper. But if you think about what it is, it's pretty cool. I, I'm, I applaud Burger King, and I don't always applaud Burger King. And I honestly thought this was going to be a really bad score, but it's really not. I like it. I think... I, I would consider getting it again, but I might as I don't know. Anyway, if I go if I go vegetarian. Brad Dopel requested this a month ago. The one that hates our videos when they go long, so we're gonna cut this off now in honor of Brad Dopel. Or I talk, just talk for the next. No, no, no. Minutes. We're not talking anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and and go cut cut. All right. So next uh, video will also be Burger King. So stay tuned. All right. So far. Hoodie. And the chili king. We're out toodles. Bye.